Should you grind lead code or read ML papers? The short answer is that you should do both, but how do you actually balance them? My name is Dev, and in less than a month, I'll be graduating with my master's degree in ML, and I've also been fortunate to land multiple new grad offers this year. Here's how I'd balance DSA with machine learning. Do as little lead code as you can get away with, but read as many ML papers as you realistically can given the constraints of school and your other commitments. You're likely aware that grinding lead code, as irrelevant as it may feel sometimes, is essential for a career in tech. This is true whether you're interested in software engineering, machine learning, or a combination of the two. Lead code is a core component of interviews in tech, and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. That's why I recommend doing just enough lead code but reading more than enough papers. There are a goldmine of concepts and new ideas. One of the most famous papers of the last five years, which you may have already heard about, is Attention is All You Need. This paper introduced the transformer that powers modern-day LLMs like ChatGPT. I actually think that every ML enthusiast should strive to implement their own GPT at some point following the ideas in this paper. But papers are tricky, and they require understanding many foundational concepts first. Grainy descent, forward and backward passes, the PyTorch library, and countless other topics. Early on in undergrad, when you have more time, is the best time to develop a foundational understanding of ML. Grinding leak code, on the other hand, has diminishing returns. You might get marginally better at solving data structure and algorithm questions, but your time is better spent growing in other areas that interest you. There is an opportunity cost. Whether it's front-end development, full-stack development, or machine learning, you should eventually transition away from leak code and towards a specific area that actually interests you. If that's machine learning, I recommend learning fundamentals like gradient descent and linear regression before moving on to neural networks and PyTorch, the number one library for ML. Once you've mastered these fundamentals, you're ready to explore research papers. I've created countless videos on this channel covering those fundamentals, as well as which research papers to read. Some papers are easier to read than others, and there's a few that I highly recommend when you're starting out. I'll link a few of those in the description, and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you soon.